You know, where the fuck Dub at, man? Where the fuck he go? Yo, ass is fine. Boy, that guy Dub, and I'm back with another video. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Deuce from the. What's up? Me and my big bro. Fuck this mill. He said he gonna teach me how to wrestle, man. I'm gonna win the belt. The boy Dub Deuce in the building. You see, because hip hop has come so far. You see, because like. I, I had a, a, a conversation with a buddy of mine who's a pioneer DJ from uh, New York named DJ Easy B, and he was oh, talking about oh Easy B, you know Easy B, Easy B and Easy Lee. Oh, yeah, okay. I know Easy B. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you, you know I know all of the first generation of rap guys from New York. Definitely. Oh, yeah, that's my guy. Yeah. But um, we were talking about it just like at one point in time, you said hip hop. We were allowed on the corner of the stage. He said, mm -hmm. now we got arenas and you and things like that. Now it's like we're the, the most copied culture in the world. That's you right. Know? So being a you said being a veteran in this hip hop game, how does it feel to ha literally have lived through all of that into where we are now in hip hop? It's a blessing. It's a blessing, and I'm grateful to still be here mm -hmm. celebrating 50 years of hip hop with with uh, uh you know with all of my counterparts and my colleagues. It is beautiful, man. It's a blessing. And I'm mindful of it every day that, you know, uh, uh, it is an honor. It is an honor, man. And and and, and uh, it does me, uh, uh, it makes me feel good. You know, it's worthwhile. It's self-fulfilling. It's self-fulfilling to be a part of that, you know, to be a part of uh, rap culture and to really be embedded in it real, real, real deeply because I went to, the Supreme Court and won the ruling on censorship for the First Amendment rights, and I had the explicit lyric sticker. So I really did a lot for the culture, right? As far as people expressing themselves artistically with their choice of words and and and, and their choice of material. But see, like that that in, in in within itself is also funny because you see, because we do have our First Amendment rights and you things like that. Because certain people, just like there was a teacher, I can't remember where she was from, but. I, she was basically she uh they were, I think they were uh, Huckleberry Finn when they were reading the book and then uh something like that. And then uh, she kept kept calling the, the student the N-word. And she was like, Well, that's my first amendment right to use and I can say what I want to say. And I was like, now you can say what you want to say. Now, if you get hit in the mouth after you say what you say, now that's something totally different. Because right. you, because there's total you know, because there's all different areas that you can go with your first amendment rights. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you can call me the N-word, but like I said, if I knock your teeth out, you know saying, hey. Consequences, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. but you said when you guys won at the Supreme Court, you said like, what was that feeling? You said when it was great. It was great. It felt like it felt like I went up against the whole system and the establishment, and stood up and won and won with my civil rights as being a black man. And it was first time that the Constitution was actually used to protect a black man. The First right. Amendment protected us. You know, because if you still look back in the Constitution, it still says in there that we are still three fifths of a human. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so some people look at that, they're the only three fifths of a human, so their lives don't mean anything. You know right. what I mean? So for us to actually go and win and stand up and go against the establishment and have the First Amendment really uh, stand up behind us and uh, 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 really let the whole world know that we are protected by our civil rights, that was big. That was big. Right. Yeah, well, that was big. You said, well, with that being said, how much of you are are you still an activist for your First Amendment rights? Would you like, would you teach the youth you sent to understand their rights as citizens? If that opportunity came up, yes, definitely. I definitely will expound on that, and I definitely will share some of my knowledge on it. You know where the fuck Dub at, man? Where the fuck he go? You looking for me? Yo, ass is fine. That guy Dub, and I'm back with another video. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Deuce from the. What's up? Me and my big bro. Yeah, fuck this, man. 
He said he gonna teach me how to wrestle, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna win the belt. The boy Dub Deuce in the building.